Hey, what's up guys? I do myself here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I have my weekly follow-up for iOS 14 developer and public beta 3. Of course, this is my longer term follow-up video where I talk about the battery, the performance, any additional new features and changes or bugs that I may come across, as well as the YouTube community poll where you guys also have an input and provide some information on how the software has been working for you. So first I wanna talk about some of the additional new features and changes that I did come across that I thought were important to share with you guys. Starting with the widget page, now when you go into edit mode here, to add a third party widget, you get a new customized button at the bottom, which looks slightly tweaked and different here. So if you add a third party widget, just like you can with iOS 13, you can add those widgets onto your widget page. They just don't look exactly like the ones from Apple right here for iOS 14, but you can add those. And the button here is slightly tweaked and customized, uh, changed actually with the latest beta beta 3. Now I also want to talk about the hand wash feature because this is an Apple Watch feature of course. Now with beta 3 I've actually used this feature uh, pretty much every day uh, with my Apple Watch. Sometimes it does get it wrong. Sometimes the things that you're washing your hands when you're not but for the most part it does figure out exactly when you're washing your hands and I just find it useful. I find it that I use it quite often honestly. And I also want to talk about Siri shortcuts. Apple now gives you a few preset Siri shortcuts with the Siri shortcuts application in case you don't want to create your own. I have a few here myself, but you see at the bottom there, starter shortcuts there. It's now new with the latest beta for iOS 14. So new Siri shortcuts as well, or a preset shortcut option here for the latest beta. Now I want to talk about performance in my experience so far over the past week. Now, to me, every beta has been slightly different in terms of performance. Unfortunately, beta 3 hasn't been as smooth as beta 1, believe it or not. I found the camera to freeze uh, every now and then. Uh, messages will freeze or not open every now and then. I would have to reboot a couple times. The iPhone would reboot itself a couple times as well. as Things that I did not experience before with beta 1 or beta 2. Now, in terms of battery, the battery isn't as good as it was with iOS 13.6. Of course, this is a beta software. Hopefully, as Apple continues to build upon iOS 14, we'll see the improvements here. But the battery isn't there as of yet. A lot of you guys continue to ask, should I update to iOS 14 developer or public beta? Honestly, if battery is super important to you, which it is to most users, then I would hold off just a little longer. The beta uh, battery here isn't there just yet so yeah some hiccups some app crashing some issues with reboots uh something i wasn't experiencing before unfortunately hopefully with the next beta we'll see improvement in the right direction here but let's head on over to the youtube community pool because this is where you guys have an input and also provide some information on how the software is working for you so this week of course the question is how is ios 14 developer and public beta 3 working for you. So we have about 3,600 votes so far. A great experience is at 21%. Okay, but some bugs, which is where I'm at, 27%, and most of you guys are as well. And okay, but a lot of bugs, 5%. I'm happy to see that for most of you guys. A bad experience, a 2%. And those of you not running the beta, it's a higher percentage at 45, which is good. Uh, again, if you care about the battery and performance, of course, you don't want to run beta software on your primary device. So I see that a lot of you guys are still not running the beta. Now, these, these YouTube community posts are posted weekly. Every time a new beta is out, they're up, and we can all just get a better understanding on how the software is performing overall. For example, this first comment here, uh, currently having a problem. My iPhone freezes uh, right here, the messages application. So freezing within the messages application. I've explained that already. Yes, it does happen. You can see there that the messages are continue to freeze. Again, I've experienced some app crashing, some reboots, uh, an occasion, and yeah, it looks like beta three, something happened here. But again, you can come back to these YouTube community polls, express your thoughts, you can vote, uh, leave a comment if you're having any issues, and that way everyone will understand how the software is performing overall. But overall, let's hope to see that Apple uh, improves the software here shortly with the next beta. At some point, Apple will be switching to releasing betas for iOS 14 on a weekly basis. I'm not sure if that will happen this week on the week of the 27th of July or Apple will be pushing it to the first week of full week of August. But at some point, Apple will be releasing new betas every week. We'll have to wait and see. Thank you for watching today's episode and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.